Okay, I'm ready to scan now. Um, this is the software that comes with the Canon scanner. I'm not going to use it. I use ViewScan. ViewScan is a pretty affordable scanning package that works with just about any scanner that you can imagine. And um, I don't know, I guess it's got a, a simpler interface and works well enough for me. So anyway, this is uh, ViewScan. And uh, I've already got it kind of set up the way I want. I'm scanning at 1400 DPI, 16-bit gray, because I'm scanning black and white here. Um, set to black and white negative, and in transparency mode, that means I'm not shooting, say, a print, but I'm shooting a negative or a slide. So uh, let's do preview. Nice thing about the Canon 9000 is it fires right up. It doesn't really have to warm up at all. Okay, here are my frames and I just need to select the, uh, the frames kind of as tightly as I can here. Um, that's pretty good. I can zoom in a bit. And I like to leave a little film rebate when I'm uh, scanning and uh, actually you know when I publish the picture I'll, I'll leave a little of the film rebate that's this black stuff I'll leave that in so I kinda just try to get to the edges of that and these uh, <clears throat> these shots all kind of have the same tonality uh, the same kind of exposure here it looks like which is nice I can scan all three of these shots at once which is what I'm gonna do uh, if one of them had a uh, much different density, then I would, you know, I would sort of select it out and just work on the one. But these are pretty similar, so I scan all three. And to do that, I just come over here and click scan. <clears throat> this is going to take a while, so I'll uh, join you in a moment or so. Alright, this is about done scanning. I'm going to fire up Aperture and I'm going to prepare a project to receive these images. Um, I keep my images organized by roll numbers and I'm in 2011 here so I'm going to uh, add, add a new Aperture project into here. I uh, forgot to see what roll number I'm on. I'm on roll 83, which makes this one 84. So uh, uh, now this is view scan popping up the uh, resulting uh, image that it just made. So get back to aperture here. And what roll did I say I'm on? Uh, 2011, 11, 12. I'm on 84, I believe I said. So create that project, put it up here next to the others. So that's where I'm going to put the images eventually. And I wanted to know what roll number I'm on because I named my files according to this. I'm done with view scan at this point. I'll get rid of view scan. And now I'm going to go to my pictures directory and here's my scan. I want to bring that into Photoshop Elements. Okay, Elements is firing up. There it is. And I'm going to drag my scan into Elements. I really just use Elements to uh, crop, really, uh, to separate these frames and, and get them prepared for import into Aperture. And I do everything else in Aperture. So I'm uh, I'm going to start at the bottom because that's really my first frame. And just going to copy that and create a new image from the clipboard. There it is. I'll save as. Now you'll see why I wanted to know what role I'm on. First frame of that role. Save it in JPEG to my pictures directory. There it goes. I want to do the same thing with these other images. And one more. 
This is Tyree, part of my 100 Strangers project. Um, he was good to sit for me that day. I, I, he's the only guy that sat for me that day. It's pretty cool of him. Um, so let's get this guy saved. And there we go. All right. I'm done with Photoshop now. I take these guys into Aperture. I get control of my mouse. There we go. Into this project. Alrighty. Here are my images. Um, they look pretty dull right now. That's okay. Uh, this is the first time I've seen these. You're going through this with me. Uh, the first thing I do really once I get all my images imported is I straighten them. I do that. I make a full pass throughout my images and straighten each one and crop it down to a square. I'm going to go with this one and, and just work on this image. So I'm uh, straightening it using the uh, rebate to see if it's as straight as I want. And rebates aren't perfectly straight, so you kind of have to look around and see what you really want. So that looks like it's going to be good enough for me. Now I need to do a bit of spotting. I'm zooming in. Um, I'm just going to fix some of these major uglies. There's a lot of them here, but I'm zoomed in. I'm, I'm, we're at 100% crop right now. This is unfortunate. He's got uh, got some action right here on his face. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on that. And I'm going to switch over to cloning, make this smaller, and try to find a place nearby. Oops. That will be a reasonable cloning source. And I'm going at this a lot faster than I normally would. So let me uh, update, make my opacity a little better. Um, and hit them again here. This is where it gets tricky. Well, this probably is a better job for Photoshop, to be honest. Um, but I'm just trying to demonstrate my workflow here. I might have brought this into Photoshop to really get this done. And I use Photoshop Elements. It's a lot cheaper than Photoshop. It does everything I need. So at this, you know, at this kind of, uh, oops, let me switch back to repair. At this level of magnification, um, that's good enough. Um, so I'm just going to knock out some of these other major things here and zoom back out and just kind of scan around. This is basically what I do is just look around for little little things that need correction. And I'm going to be a lot looser with this one than I normally am because uh, I don't want to bore you guys to tears. And, uh, so I'm going to call this good. Now it's time to get this guy into Silver Effects, which is where I do my real work. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and crop it down to a square. And like I said, I include the film rebate. All right, so it's cropped. It's ready to rock.